to maintain that King James Version, yes. which tells us words that does not differ, amen. And some people say, well, the other versions are easy to be understood. Most of the people that's reading the Bible that's easy to be understood are not doing any better. That's right. True, right? True. They're not worshiping. You know why? Because if you are saved and seeking God, even things that you don't understand in the Bible, God will open up your understanding at a point in your life. Amen. True. Keisha, I don't understand everything. But he understands who Thomas trains are. He understands who Caillou is. Amen. So what are you saying is, <laughs> he laughed at But what are you saying is, as a child, he understands what he's supposed to understand. So as he grow up, Thomas won't be interested in to him anymore. Caillou won't be interested in to him. He will learn a greater depth about things of his age. Amen. So as we grow, God will give us understanding right. of things that we need to know. Amen. amen. All right. Uh, eight, verse eight. Somebody, no, somebody else read that verse eight. Uh, okay. Ephesians oh, five. Eight, eight, okay, verse eight. For, for ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Amen. Can I ask somebody in that particular verse? He say you are sometimes darkness. Can you explain that? Because a sinner, is a sinner sometimes a sinner? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Mm. No, sir. Amen. Right, right. Okay, so, so somebody explain that verse. All right, Mama. Amen. What's Short that? version. While well, you were sometimes dark, you what? were sometimes dark. Right. You were sometimes, one time a sinner. Right. Darkness represents sin. True. But now are you lights in the Lord? God. Walk as children of the light. Your light, now come on, walk this world and shine for me. Amen. In other words, Jesus said before he left here, I am the light of the world. True. Uh huh. He said, but now, at a certain point, he went further in the, in the, in the gospel. He said, I am no more in the world. He's getting ready to face the cross. He said, but ye shall be the light of the world. Hallelujah. Therefore, we're going to walk like we Christ. Amen. Christ in you, the hope of it's supposed to see Jesus through us, in us. True, true. Amen. We that's obey this word, you're going to be acting just like Jesus. So, he's the living word. That's right. Let's go back to the first where he says, sometime darkness. One time we was one time a sinner, but was we a sometime a sinner? No, but that's, that's, uh, the, uh, that's their way of putting it. You were what? He so says you were well, sometime. You were, okay, that's, that's in right. the past. Sometimes. We were born sinners, every one of us. Okay. Was sinners. So that's the part I was just trying to get you yes, to bring out. Yes, we got to You were sometime. You were sometime. You once was a sinner. I thought I said that right away. You no, no, that. but yeah, you see, see what that verse says. Yeah, right. You were sometime. That's if you were a sinner, you weren't sometime. Some, sometime. You were a sinner. You was all the time a sinner. Right. So I was just trying to bring that verse out. Right. When you were a sinner, you were a sinner, period, until God saved you. That's right. Amen. All right. All of us. Were. All right. All right. So I'm saying, I put it in today's language. Mm -hmm. Is that for you were sometimes sinners, but you were sometimes darkness. Right. Uh, Lord, my thoughts and slipped. Uh, for you were a period of time a sinner. That's what it's saying. Okay. For, in the past tense. Right. For a period of time you were a sinner. Okay. Okay. But now you're not a sinner anymore. All right. So it's speaking of the past and it's speaking of the present. That's what I'm trying. You that's the part I'm trying to bring up. You were sometimes that's the part. darkness. For a period of time, you were a sinner. That's right. right. Because if you were a sinner, you weren't a sometime a sinner. No. You right. was all the time a sinner. That's right. Until God saved you, then you're walking in the newness of life. Amen. So we have to understand what the writer is actually saying. Right. So when you approach with that part, then you will know the right answer to give. So how to break it down. Amen. You see now, all right, amen. And I, I get to Sister Marie. In the book of uh, Matthews 121, she shall bring forth a son. Uh -huh. Thou shalt call his name Jesus. Uh -huh. For he shall save who from their sin? His, his people. people. Were we his people at the particular time? No, no sir. When he was talking about Israel. Right. Then you have to be able to tell a sinner, a person don't know, how did he save his people from their sin when I'm a Gentile? So you need to be able to look at words, be able to understand what they're saying Amen. in order to relate to somebody else. Amen. 
Y'all understand what I'm saying? Amen. We were grafted in. That's right. Amen. Now, when he grafted us in, we became his people. Amen. Amen. We were wild. A, make a, a, well, he abused a, a parable as a wild olive branch. Right. But we was grafted into it. Amen. 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 Praise God. Just like, amen. Where do you get a tangerine from? It comes from an orange. It was grafted in. Amen. And came up with a tangerine. Amen. amen. Praise God. So that's where that means. Amen. All right, let's read that next part. Sister, Sister Marie, talk, uh, talk to me. I have a scripture. It's in Ephesians 4 and 22 and 24. That you put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you put on the new man, which is after God, a creator, and righteousness, and true holiness. That old man was the world. Right. You was once, like Sister Paul, Paul said, the, the, you, the world, the uh, sin, you could be a sin. That's the old man. That's the old man. And the new man is Jesus Christ. What is that song you sang? What is that yeah, song you sang? I tell you the best thing I ever did do when I pulled up the old man. <laughs> I took on the old man. <laughs> and I put on the new man. <laughs> and you know what? What hinders people from getting the glory of God is they hate to take off the old man. Right. I know you're right. They want to hold on to him. Right. What is the old man? The nature and the character are most sinful things. Right. You want to hold on to it. Right. And you can't take the old man into a new life. That's right. Amen. You got to be able to be cleansed. What, what does it say? Thoroughly cleansed what? Right. Thoroughly cleansed its floor. Amen. Right. When the Holy Ghost, the Word of God, it's going to clean you out. Amen. The Holy Ghost ain't coming until He done cleaned up everything. He's going to burn up the shaft. How are you going to burn it up? With unquenchable fire. I need a Bible reading group in here tonight. Right. Yeah. Why we're here. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. Amen. Amen. Praise God. All right. So God's word will come in and burn up everything that's not like God. Yeah. And that's why it makes people mad because it's burning you. That's right. It's supposed to upset you. The word's supposed to make you mad. That's right. Because why? The old man don't want to turn loose. And the, the power of God, which is the word of God, is like a mighty burning fire. It's going to come in and upset the old, that, that old man. Amen. Right. Mm -hmm. right old man don't want to turn loose. Right. want to hold on to something. Try to hold on to anything he can hold on to. Mm -hmm. But that word is like a jackhammer. It'll jack everything out of you. Right. Come on, talk to me now. Amen. 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 Did I see your answers, Jackson? Yes, sir. All right. Can I just uh, uh, give a scripture to go with that? All right. Uh, what do you say? About being in uh, sometime darkness. Uh, you say, I, uh, in Psalms 119.63, I'm a companion of them that fear thee and of them that keep thy precepts. So when uh, we don't walk in darkness anymore, we, we, we enjoy being in the company of God's people. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be around those old people you know true, true. And, and, and people that don't love God and all that I mean That's we got right. a new walk Amen. now we, we keep in God's precepts so by being with God's people they help you be strong yeah. but you know but if yeah. you're walking with with uh, uh, these people used to I mean I know example now somebody thought they were strong but they kept staying in the company of, of the uh, people that was on drugs and you know now, even though they wasn't saved, but God had blessed them. Uh -huh. Now they back with them, thinking you could be strong, but you cannot walk with the no, no. people with that and think you gon gon uh, keep keep the right path. You cannot. It just won't happen. Mm -hmm. How can two do what? Walk walk together. Together. Except what? Except what? Except what? That's it. Right, Bishop. It's impossible. Amen. You gonna either draw them or they gonna draw That's you. It. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. People talking about I got. And I got some homosexual friends. Baby, let me tell you something. Oh, my God. A homosexual ain't got but one thing on his mind. Thank you. Recruiting you to what he wants, what he is. There you go. Amen. He'll take the long way around to do it. Amen. Truly. Bishop Mack, that thing is so, is so tight. Did you point to me? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, but that, that thing is so tight. 